My son asked me if I wanted to go do a marathon called the Bataan Death March. So I ran it and I ran about 18 miles of it with a 35 pound pack on. Mile 19, something went wrong in my left leg. I ended up hobbling in. All the doctors were telling me, you're gonna get a hip replacement. You're not gonna be running it ever again. I wanted to be able to still be active. I still wanted to have a life. I'd heard Dr. Berger's great successes. And one of the questions I had asked him, could I still skydive? And he says, yeah, I don't see why not. If you got hurt skydiving, the last thing that would get hurt would be your hip. Now I go to invitationals for big wave formations. So I've been on two world records for people over 60. I did a 66 way and a 75 way. Recently this year, I went to Dallas and we did a COVID virus uh, formation. Last year in Eloy, Arizona, the Veteran Day Big Way built a large V with 42 people in it. A lot of people think we're just a bunch of crazy people jumping out of an airplane, but boy, I tell you what, the the skill set that it takes and to be so focused in 70 seconds, you're moving anywhere between 120 to 180 miles an hour typically. Since having the hip replacement, I have no problem whatsoever. I never worry about it. I'd put up another thousand skydives since I came back. Um, and that's all with the new hip. It's so much more fun enjoying your life than watching everybody else enjoy their life.